Hey guys, I'm going to show you um, a thing, a few things that I don't particularly enjoy about Blu-ray. Um, I mean, look, don't get me wrong, the picture quality is by far the best you can get. Um, but there are far, a few little caveats here that really tick me off. Um, and they, they really do hurt the experience that you get with Blu-ray. And I hope that somewhere in the near future... Um, the content providers can stop being dicks and start actually providing reasonable um, Blu-ray releases. And I'm going to explain. I do have here the uh, Back to the Future, you know, the one that's actually in that part where I try to take out the disc. I did eventually figure it out, um, but I wanted to make it very clear that, you know, it was m much more difficult than it needed to be. So I have it here in my new Blu-ray player. This is the, uh, the Samsung BD6500, um, an awesome player, by the way. Um, I would highly recommend it um, because it actually has a bunch of streaming features built into it. Uh, but we're going to just talk about Blu-ray today. So it's going to be loading. It's set to load automatically. So here we go. The first problem with Blu-ray that I find, and it, it depends on the release, it depends on the release. Um, I have a few early Blu-rays that they're not that much longer than, Blu uh, than DVD to load. Um, but particularly, these particular releases, such as Back to the Future, they take forever to get to the main menu, especially on the very first um, boot up of that particular disc. So, uh, you know, the very first boot up is going to be longer. Every boot up afterwards will be a little bit quicker. So, for instance, the first issue that I'm going to show about this particular uh, company is you're going to see some sort of uh, message pop up on the screen that's going to say uh, refreshing uh, internet content or something like that. Um, you'll see it. Uh, but right now, you're waiting and waiting and waiting before anything actually plays. So this is the intro like to Universal. It's their new high-definition logo. So after you see this, which it looks really sexy, by the way, um, especially on a nice 42-inch TV, which we have here. This is in 1080p. Um, let's get to the point here. <laughs> okay, so now that's the first video clip you saw. It's going to end up longer load times now. Now we have to wait for the player to go online and download a new advertisement, loading a fresh preview from the Internet. This is what pisses me off about the, the Blu-rays right now. Back in the day, you had DVDs and the ads would always be the same ad because they were printed on the disc. These fucking ads are downloaded through the internet and play on your Blu-ray player. So, I could pop this Blu-ray into my player five years from now and see advertisements from movies that come out five years from now. Instead of seeing ads that would normally be come out when this is released. If you don't have a BD Live compatible Blu-ray player, you will actually see ads that are pre, uh, pre-pressed onto the disc itself. And the problem is, you can't skip this shit. You have to wait for it to download, so if you have an active internet connection but it's slow as shit, it's still going to try to download it. And um, that, that's the problem. They have to give you an option to, to disable it. I'm sure there probably is a way to disable it, but right now what you're seeing are ads directly from the internet directly from the internet and, and that, that's fucking stupid you know you pay was I paid about almost fifty dollars for the blu-ray uh, release of back to the future but you have to see ads and the ads are always um, new which don't get me wrong it's a lot better but it's still bullshit because the thing is now you paid fifty dollars let's say for your blu-ray release they're still making money off of presenting ads on your disc oh it's not on the disc it's on your player so if we try to skip this, a lot of times they tell you you can't. The first video you usually can't. See, it just says not available. It's not letting me skip the fucking ads. So I have to actually go on my player here and plus fast forward and keep on trying. And yet I could tell that this is stream because it's all pixelized and stuff. It's a very low bitrate ad. But it's not letting me skip the fucking ads. That's another issue with Blu-ray, is that it's bad enough that the load times are shitty, but on top of that, you can't skip the ads that, you know, shouldn't be on this. You know, BD Live was supposed to be used for some more useful features, but why the fuck is it used for advertising? 
It doesn't make sense. I have to sit through this shit and watch ads that I should never watch. So now you give it a little bit longer. You have to keep on waiting and waiting and waiting for the fucking menu to load. Now I understand how the menu works on Blu-rays compared to menus that work on DVD. Blu-ray menus are actual programs written in Java. Um, so I can understand they're more interactive, they have more stuff going on, they're not just a series of video clips put onto a disc like DVD. But the, the thing is is that to get to that fucking menu it takes forever. And now I own a PlayStation 3 and I own this Blu-ray player. I don't have any other Blu-ray players at the moment, but right now, both of these players, which this particular Samsung was rated for having faster, um, faster load times, it's not that much different from the uh, PlayStation 3. So now you have to wait and wait and wait until you see the Blu-ray logo pop up on the screen, and that essentially means that the menu's loaded. So keep it going. So I already had to watch two ads that were streamed through the internet, I couldn't skip them, and now I have to sit and wait for the menu to pop up. Now let's keep this going, and I, I'm sorry if I, you know, I sound like I'm rambling on and on, but I just find that these little tidbits here are, are, are really annoying. You know, you want to go and you want to pop in a Blu-ray disc you know, you, that you just rented or something, you have to sit there for fucking ads and shit while you're waiting. Now this is the other thing that Universal annoys the fuck out of me. They have a little feature here called the ticker. Okay, and it says, when you see the blah icon, press the blue bar icon to see more. So now if you tap it, it loads up this little globe, and then it adds advertisements. Okay, so another feature of BD Live is used to represent advertisements. That's awesome. I gladly paid 50 bucks for this bullshit. Now, of course, I'm going to you know, be honest here, you don't have to see this. This isn't a default. It's off by default, which is great. But um, I just really think that BD Live is really more or less used for um, dynamic advertisement and shit like that rather than what it was originally advertised for. Blue BD Live was really supposed to add extra content to the Blu-ray movies that you purchase. For instance, let's say um, there's new commentaries, new featurettes, new uh, deleted scenes or something. They were supposed to be um, able to stream that to your movie. So if let's say you have Back to the Future and they found content that was not pressed on the Blu-ray disc, you would theoretically be able to access it through BD Live. But right now, as you just saw, BD Live is only being used for dynamic advertisements and used for extra fucking advertisements on the ticker. When I got this Blu-ray set, Despicable Me didn't pop up on this bullshit, neither did The Kids Are Alright. So I guarantee that five years from now, these are going to still be updated with extra advertisements, with more bullshit. Now getting into the movie, if you go to play a movie, again, it takes long to fucking load. So now we just pressed start, we have to see this bullshit. Again, the cops aren't going to come after you if you copy your own discs. You see this? More bullshit. Okay, any views? Blah, blah, blah. Let's keep it going. Now, I, as I say, you know, some people say, you know what, the weight is worth it. Yes, it is. The quality is excellent. I love the quality. But now you have all this stuff. It says here, more shit that if you have a network enabled uh, thing it won't work, blah 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 and you're still waiting mm -hmm. now the movie is officially playing no, technically it's not, this is still the new advertising one um, once you see, as you can see, it still says menu on the player once I consider the movie playing once it shows the original logo but it's still showing the high definition version but th this is just really <laughs> is stupid and it really takes away from the experience. You spend a good five minutes trying to load up the movie. So right now it's playing. Now it's official, it says play and the timer's going and now we're good. But it's not playing. It's still fucking loading, more loading. 
I understand Blu-ray is more advanced, but why the fuck do you have to deal with extra load times, you know, at dynamic advertisements so they can make more money off of you? Um, these are the things that should never be. I mean, I understand some of the ideas are cool, but they really just piss people off. I mean, my parents, when I first showed them to the glory of Blu-ray, the first thing they said is, why are you downloading this from the internet? That's the first thing they said is, why the fuck? You have the disc, you pop it in, why is it taking forever to load? And right now, we press play, it takes forever for the fucking movie to start playing. And it's not a faulty Blu-ray player or anything, it's, it's just retarded. <laughs> That's what it is. What the fuck? Uh, okay, look, I press play, it ejected me out of that. I did not hit any buttons on this remote. So now you have to do the same shit. <laughs> so just getting into things, it's just, it, it really doesn't seem like Blu-ray is all that's cracked up to be. I mean, when you're in the movie, it's excellent. It's by far beyond what DVD could offer. But the process of getting from the beginning of the fucking time, you know, you pop in the disc... To the point where you can actually watch the fucking movie takes forever. It really does. So now, um, thank you all for all my subscribers, by the way. I actually do have a planned um, uh, rant about uh, network streaming services such as Netflix. A lot of people insist that this is going to kill Blu-ray and is going to kill disc-based medium and all that. And I have an entire rant explaining why it won't. Okay, so take care, guys. Look out for future content. Some Sony rants are coming, or uh, you know, coming to my channel soon. Uh, so take care, guys.